Hi guys, let's take a look at the brand new Baofeng UV82 dual-band VHF UHF radio. Inside the box you get user's manual and a free headset which has, when I first opened the box I thought why do they have two PTT buttons? on the handset, but um, I'm going to go into details about these later on. Here you have the body of the radio. It's slightly longer compared to the older ones, but a relatively thin, slim body. Okay, so it does 136 to 174 and 400 to 520 megahertz. So that's your VHF and UHF covered. And the output power is around 5 watt. Next is the lithium ion battery. That's 1800 milliamp hours with two spring clips. And you slide it onto the back of the radio. You will also get a SMA female antenna, so that's for the 2 meter and 70 centimeter band, which is the same thing as, well, the same connection as other Baofeng radios. There's also a, a belt clip. Now, this one comes uh, with a UK charger. Uh, you can also get the European the two pin um, plug with the radio as well. The desktop charging pod, it's got a different shape to the previous radios, but it's the same, uh, the same connection at the back. So if you had one of these older wall plugs, you can use them with this radio, no problem. So you just drop the radio in to charge it. And the last thing is a small wrist strap that comes with all the radio. When you first pick up the radio, you notice the beauty quality uh, of the UV82 is quite solid. So on the front, you have a rather large badge for Baofeng on top of the radio, and the screen has moved to the middle compared to the older models. Um, the front keypad is what you call a normal keypad, where the zero goes underneath your number 789s and the buttons are rather large and they have quite a positive feel so for someone with rather big uh, fingers if you like um, you will find this keypad a lot easier to use on the left hand side of the radio you have the PTT at uh, the top of this side however you do get an A and B switch so that's um, in fact there are two PTT switches one for when you have the stand uh, the um, A band and the other one for the B band. So without changing the A and B band, which you can do using one of the buttons, you can transmit directly uh, by pressing the upper part of the button or the lower one, which is very interesting and very different to the other models. Uh, you have two function keys on the side. So again, they are opening the uh, squelch for this one and the other one is to listen to FM broadcast and they have a secondary function as well. On the right hand side of the radio you have the normal microphone speaker and programming lead connection so it's the same cable that you use for your other radios. And on the back the radio where your belt clip would normally go onto so there's two screws for that and it's the back of the battery I say it's slightly um, curved at the back of the, the battery, so it's it's not as thick as, as you think on the UV82. So let's have a look at the top of the radio. You get the on and off and volume switch on the side and a rather big um, LED torch, much bigger than the older ones. I think they've done a, 
a little kind of lens um, improvement on there and you get two separate lights uh, one for transmit one for receive so enough said let's switch the radio on as you can see you have a similar size display screen on the UV82 and you can use that for uh, for example when you program it you can display the channel names or numbers um, in terms of programming it's very straightforward you can use the chirp software or you can use the factory software online and I have just spent about an, an hour or two and on using these softwares so the menus they go um, I think there are 41 options so again the different different functions um, are very similar to the UV5R let me demonstrate the A and B button on the side so the little arrow now is on the top one on A band but if you wanted to trans, uh, transmit on the A band you usually just press the PTT and I will do that um, but if you have you know if you don't know where the little arrow is but you know you have got a different frequency on the B band you just press that button and it automatically transmit on the B band okay so side by side I have the UV5RC on the left UV82 the new model in the middle and UVB5 on the right as you can see the B5 has the the dial the switch on top the selection switch on top the radio which is something I really like and I hope or well, I wish the 82 or the UV5R would have that and on the other hand the 82 is the tallest out of the three and the same as the B5 they have the display screen in the middle of the radio now the large keypad as you can see on the 82 uh, is something I particularly enjoy in the same order you have the UV5RC on the left and UVB5 on the right in the middle is the UV82 so it is taller but it's not thicker in any way uh, than the other two models so thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy the review uh, please subscribe to my channel uh, if you want to receive regular updates and new videos on reviews and unboxing of different handheld radios